morning everybody it's another day it's Friday today we're picking up more of these pipes or a drainage tile and we're bringing them to Dauphin Manitoba which is on the west side of the province and then we'll see what happens from there it's Friday so you can't deliver anywhere on the weekend because everything's closed chances are I'll probably be going home tonight but I made myself available over the weekend if they have work we'll see what happens we'll probably find out later this afternoon I'm pulling the same type of stuff that I was in yesterday's video. And I'm sure a lot of you answered my question as to what that material is for over the pipes. Uh, but I actually asked the guy who was installing it yesterday, and he actually says that that's what they put over the pipes in sandy areas. It keeps the sand from getting into the pipes then clogging it up underground. If the ground isn't very sandy, you don't need to wrap it in that white material. Uh, it's obviously more expensive to do it like that. You know, it's more material, so I don't know how much all this costs, but it's got to be pretty expensive. So we're delivering to the farmer's field again. And it's right over there, a couple miles that way. We're up here near Dauphin, Manitoba, a little further down here. I'm turning off of Highway 5 south on to uh, 582, I believe this is. Yes, I missed my turn on the way up. 582 also goes around to, uh, oh, and it's gravel. <laughs> of course it is. I'm sorry, Old Blue. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Uh, let's try to keep the dust on the outside. What was I saying? Yeah, the, the 582 comes around this way and meets up with the 5 back over there, right? I missed that turn, so here we are. That's uh, Turtle Mountain over there. Manitoba has a mountain, believe it or not. Can you see it? I know I can hardly see it, but it's our mountain. Don't deny us our mountain. It's a mountain. We actually, we, we literally call it, isn't it Turtle Mountain? Something like that? That is a Manitoba mountain. It is a very large hill that identifies as a mountain. So I have volunteered for some weekend work and some weekend work has come down the pike for me. We're headed out to the Edmonton area. I have to do a recovery, a trailer recovery. One of our guys broke down in Saskatoon. It's a van trailer. I gotta go recover the van trailer. It has a load in it that's going to, to, to Edmonton area there. Recover the trailer tomorrow and deliver it first thing Monday morning. I have to recover it tomorrow though, because usually I could go Sunday, right? But for whatever reason, which I'm sure I'll understand more once I get there, I have to be there between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. I think, to get this trailer. It's probably inside like a locked yard or something. So we'll go get the trailer tomorrow and we'll meander our way out to Edmonton. Deliver it Monday morning and then we'll get a load reload in Edmonton, head, head back. I'll probably be back uh, on Tuesday. And then we can continue on with the week then. That's a lot of dust being kicked up behind me. Yee. Thanks so much for the clean truck. It's been gravel roads every day, eh, Diesel? Life in Manitoba. I swear, most of our roads are paved. The main ones are. Now, all of these grid roads, like I've said before, are all built in square miles. So I gotta turn right here and go half a mile that way, so halfway to the next main road. And there should be a road there for some reason. It's a half mile road. And then we go a mile south, and then another half mile west, and then another half mile south. That's the road I would have come down if I uh, went the right way. Diesel, can you get down, please? I need to see. Thank you very much. Thank you. You listen so well. Thank you. Whenever he's sitting up here, all I have to do is sort of whisper at him and say, hey, down. And just boom. He usually just hits the deck. Just boom. I guess I've trained him in the past that when I need to see, I need to see now. <laughs> Good boy, Diesel. Thank you. Oh, it must be nice to own these properties back here. Oh, all that privacy. Though you gotta go way down a gravel road to get to your house then, but still, just the peace and quiet. 
It's okay, Diesel. I know you don't like gravel roads. You're going to ding up your paint, man. You're going to ding up your paint, you poo truck, man. Poo old view. Don't worry about it, Diesel. It's okay. We got to do it. We got to do it. You got to make money in order to pay for it. In order to make money, we got to go down the gravel road. But then you got to spend more money and fix all your paint chips. I know, right? That's the problem. Ooh, diesel. Cows. Cows. Oh my goodness. Look at all the cows. They're looking at you. They're looking at you. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Hello, cows. My name's Diesel. Who are you? What's your name? Quiet bunch. I'll see you later, man. Are your buddies there, Diesel? Why wouldn't you tell me their name, man? Because they know there's beef in your dog food. That's why. You don't say. I'm gonna close that window now, okay? So we don't get too much dust in here. So we go a mile down here, half mile that way, half mile that way, and that's where the field should be. Diesel, more cows. More cows. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes, man. Look at all them, these brown cows, these white cows, these black cows. Oh my goodness. Hey guys. Moo. I didn't know you spoke cow, Diesel. Been practicing. Look at that, eh? Look. That one's laying down. He's tired, man. Oh, they look delicious. In 200 meters, Diesel. Turn left on, road. Here they are, up, up ahead on the left. There's no one here to help me with this one, so I gotta get these unloaded myself. How do I get onto the field? Where's the access? to get in there. I don't want to just drive through there and get myself stuck way out here in the middle of nowhere. Do I even have cell service? Oh yeah, we have cell service at least. Okay, how do we get there? I see, I see. Huh. Oh, here. That's how they... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. field right here okay better not sink in here we go off-roading I'm gonna angle myself so that I'm sort of facing up like this so it's easier to push them off Which way is the wind going? The wind going that way. All right. Right here, Diesel, does that look good to you? Let's go see. Let's let everyone know that I am here and I will be unloading cargo. You think I could go, go go get some of my cow friends and bring my cow friends here, play with them a bit, man? I think they gotta stay in their pen. I don't think they can, uh, I don't think they can come here, Diesel. I'm sorry, man. And I'm not letting you go play in their pen, okay? Bunch of cow pies all over the place. 
No, it's not those kind of pies either. I know you. You'd go straight for it and like, shove your face in it. Okay, let's take a look at everything here. Figure out how we're gonna do this. You think you can jump out without your steps? Every now and then I like them to do that, just in case. Come on, bud. It's not like it's a long way down. Oh, look how dirty my truck got. Oh, man. All right, Diesel. All right, well, there she is. Oh, you can see that they've settled in pretty, pretty good, eh? They got that flat spot on the bottom. What you find in there, Diesel? Hey? Don't eat, no, 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 no. Don't eat anything here. Do not eat anything, okay? You know what? Let's put you back in the truck, okay? I don't know what chemicals they spray on here. I just thought of that. I just thought of that. Diesel, come on. Up in the truck, come. Come on, buddy. You did finish, right? Come on, up, up, up. Oh, jeez. You can do it, bud. I believe in you. Up in the truck, up, up. Yeah, good boy, you still got it. Good boy. I'm gonna go unload now, okay? I'll be a little while. You got something in your mouth? Diesel, come here, hey, hey. Stop chewing on the grass. That's not salad. Okay. I hope I've got you hidden away well enough from the wind. It's a little windy out here. I think that last one will be pretty simple. But uh, the rest of them might need a little convincing. I'm going to release the air in the suspension in the trailer. So that uh, gives a little bit more of a competitive edge. all tied down for a reason because we're gonna get a little creative in how we get that to roll off the back should be fun big flat spot on the bottom I can't push that over so we're gonna have to uh, rely on the help of what is it Newton's law an object in motion must stay in motion I'm gonna try to drop it right here between all of these well that's not something I practice every day so I probably wasn't the best at it but I'm getting better you know I got one more to do I think I got a pretty good rhythm Come back fast in reverse high. You come back and then you ease into the brakes. You don't have to slam on the brakes. 
ease into the brakes, then come to an abrupt stop. Let it start rolling backwards. Put it in forward gear, put it in drive or second. And then just as it's about to stop rolling, start rolling forward and then the momentum will carry it back off the back onto the field. This is something you can only do when you have this much space to work with. Literally a uh, quarter mile square, I believe is what these fields are. All of this space empty. And they just said, put it on the field somewhere. They're on the field somewhere. Now I gotta get that top one off. Gotta be more careful with that one. Don't want it to roll forward. diesel hey is that fun <laughs> it's a little hard on old blue admittedly but it was a little bit fun that's what that was fun yeah well we got it unloaded and uh, I didn't pull any muscles or break my back so uh, we'll just roll up our straps now and Head on back to the yard. I gotta drop this trailer in the yard and I'm gonna be bobtailing to Saskatoon. I believe I'm gonna be leaving tonight. Bobtailing all the way there, grab the trailer, and then continue to Edmonton uh, from there. If you're wondering, I, I cut my finger on a can, can lid this morning because I have those soup cans. I made myself soup last night, right? I was gonna throw my garbage out this morning. That little soup can cut me. Good thing it's on a finger that uh, kind of useless this one's the important one diesel you want to roll up the straps for me I've been doing all the work today again the cut is very small that I got from that can very very small I've just been putting uh, a little bit of whoo, alcohol on it or it's well sanitizer hand sanitizer just something to clean it eh? and whoo it's on fire whoo who can you see the flames because i can feel them <laughs> nice no infections going on in there hey great you ready to go diesel you ready wait are my sunglasses oh shoot i did leave them here good thing i remembered that i want to switch these out take off my Regular glasses, put on my sunglasses. Okay, much better, much better. Can you see me? Can you see me? Much better, much better. Are you guys sitting on there crooked? Hey, straighten up. There you go. Very nice. You guys are looking great. Okay, let's get off this field. fun delivery. Karen, don't interrupt me. That was fun. Glad I don't have to do that all the time, but.
Job complete. Now to get back to the pavement. the unloading process but I kept putting the camera in the wrong spots and completely missing the shot so while I would like back up and then stop and the thing would roll off the camera was like facing over here and I was over here my bad I'm sorry <laughs> I tried my best it is what it is I'm an amateur this this isn't a professional production this is an amateur production that's the point of it. It's a vlog. It's real life. This is my life every day. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, it really does help me hit that like button. Uh, we went back to the yard, dropped that flatbed off, and bobtailed back to, uh, I think it's Kirkella, Manitoba. It's right at the Saskatchewan border. You'll see tomorrow morning in tomorrow's vlog. Uh, we're right at the Saskatchewan border. We're going to bobtail up to Saskatoon. Excuse me. It's been a long day. Bob down to Saskatoon, grab a van trailer that needs to be recovered because a truck broke down there. And we're going to pull that load to uh, Edmonton and deliver that Monday morning. Should be fun. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. See you right back here tomorrow.